Hi, in this video, I'm going to be showing you the limits of the Dell Dock, the WD19DC. I have some 4K monitors, and I'm going to show you the limitations or actually the maximum outputs you can get on this dock. This dock connects to the laptop using the double USB-C ports. And for this test, I'll be using the Dell Precision 7740 laptop. This particular model is using the AMD 7130 Radeon Pro graphics card. Just having a look at the dock's video output specifications. Now it has two categories, HBR2 and HBR3. Now the high bit rate number two can only handle one times 4K monitor at 60 Hertz. Now the 7740 laptop falls in the category of HBR3. So according to the specification, it should be able to provide you with two times 4K monitors, both running at 60 Hertz. But can it do that? I'm gonna answer that question and you may be very surprised at what I find. Now, just for your reference, the AMD Radeon Pro graphics card that is inside this laptop, that can handle four times 4K monitors all running at 60 Hertz. So there's definitely no limitation on the graphics engine. The only limitation we are having here is the dock. So if you're gonna be connecting your 4K monitors directly to the dock, you are going to be limited by this specification, which is two by 4K at 60 Hertz. Right, I'm gonna connect two 4K monitors, and then I've actually got a third 4K monitor, but there's a little problem that I picked up. The challenge to this specification is the color bit depth, whether you set it to eight or 10 bit. Can the dock give you two times 4K monitors at 60 Hertz, while also at 10 bits? Right, let's check. All right, let's first have a look at the connections that are available. You get a display port, you get a display port, you get an HDMI, and then you get a dual personality port, which is a USB-C, but can provide display port signal through the USB-C. Some monitors nowadays are actually USB-C monitors. So this HDMI port and this display port are actually a shared port. So if you use the HDMI, you're no longer using the USB-C. If you're using the USB-C, you can't use the HDMI so it's not like you can connect four monitors here unfortunately you can only connect three monitors so in my case I have a USB-C adapter to display port so I can test that port I also have 4k monitors set up using display port and I also can use the HDMI I've done all these tests and I have some results so my first test is going to be two 4k monitors connected using the display port all right, so let me just introduce you to the monitors. This is an LG UL500 monitor. This is 4K 60 Hertz and can handle 10 bit color. This is the exact same monitor. This one over here is also a 4K monitor. It is the Dell P2715Q. Funny enough, also made by LG. Now, some things to know about the monitor. This monitor runs HDMI as well as DisplayPort. This LG over here, DisplayPort as well as HDMI. This Dell over here is HDMI and DisplayPort, but if you use the HDMI, the monitor can only handle 30 frames per second. So you also need to be very aware of the specifications of your monitor. So in this test, I'm going to start with these exact same LGs. Okay, so both monitors are now connected. There you can see one and two. So in this case, this is number one on the left and number two is on the right. So having a look at the advanced display settings. Okay, so there we go. Monitor one is sitting at 4K, 10 bit color, and there's an option here to change the frequency, but you can see that it's only 30 Hertz. Now let's look at monitor two. Monitor two is 60 Hertz, 4K, 10 bits. So immediately, there's the limitation. If you want both of them at 10 bit, you're gonna to have to reduce the hertz. So say for example, I take my graphics driver, this is the AMD software, and I change this, instead of 10 bit, I go to eight bit color depth. Right, so I've changed this to eight bit, and now I'm going to make the other monitor also eight bit. Yeah, there it's 10 bit, I'm gonna change this to eight bit. And now you see the option to make 60 Hertz. So I'll make it 60 Hertz. Right, so there we go. We got monitor one, 4K, 60 Hertz, eight bit color depth. Now we go to monitor two, 4K, 60 Hertz, eight bit color depth. 
the minute I change any one of these monitors to 10-bit color, look what's going to happen. Here it's 8-bit color. 60 hertz. Yes, that's fine. 4K. But look at now monitor 2. It's 10-bit, but look at the refresh rate. It's just dropped. And there's no option there. There's no scope to make it the 60 hertz. Right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the display port and the USB-C dual personality, but actually connecting via display port. You see there's a converter here. Right, so this is still monitor 1. Going to the advanced display settings, 60 hertz. 8-bit color. The other monitor, 10-bit, 30 hertz. So we have the same problem. But the question is, can you get 10-bit over that USB-C? So let's just try that. This is the USB-C monitor. So I'm going to now put this onto 10-bit color. Right, so to answer the first question, yes, you can get 10-bit color over the USB-C. And now what I want to do is, can I get the 60 hertz? You can 10-bit. But what will have to happen is I'll have to drop this 10-bit to 8-bit on monitor 1. And uh, yeah, then display 2, just checking, it's still 10-bit. Right, so you can see now monitor 1 is 8-bit, 60 hertz. Monitor 2 is 10-bit, 30 hertz. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to drop this manually to 30 hertz. And for monitor 1 to create some bandwidth for monitor 2 to have 60 hertz. And 10-bit. Right, so monitor 2, there's 10-bit. But can it get to 60 hertz? The answer is yes. So if you are using the USB-C option, you can get the full 4K at 60 hertz and 10 bit over that dual personality port. But then you have that problem. 30 hertz on your additional port of the display port. Right, now just for your reference, I'm talking about RGB 4x4x4. So when I'm making a 10-bit color depth, my pixel format is RGB 4x4x4. So if you want to try the HDMI port, I think you're not going to get this right. Right, so now I'm using HDMI. This is a 2.0 cable. I believe the port here is 2.0. And now I'm using the display port. So display port plus HDMI. Right, so I have the two monitors. Now they have swapped, display 2 is now on the left and display 1 is now on the right. Display 2 is the HDMI connected monitor and display 1 is the display port connected monitor. Right, so let's look at display 1. Display 1, I've set the color to 8 bit and there's the format and then display 2, you can see it's also at 8 bit and there's the format and let's have a look at the refresh rates that are available. So there we go, LG1, you can see I've got 30 hertz. You can 8-bit, but can I have 60? It is available over there. Right, now let's have a look at the HDMI version. 8-bit, it's currently at 30. Is 60 available? Yes. So if I go to 60, so if you would like to run your HDMI monitor at 4K 60 hertz, 8-bit, you shouldn't have a problem. But what about your other monitor? So there you can see it's at 30. If I try and make this 60, there's no option for it. There's no scope for the 60 hertz. So there's another limitation. Now, if you'd like your color bit depth a bit higher, then I'll show you what happens with that. So let's first do the HDMI. So it's display 2. Now, here's a limitation. I can set it to 10, but keep in mind that HDMI 2.0 doesn't support 10 bit at 4x4x4 at 60 hertz. So just having a look at this table, you can see that for 4K 60 hertz with HDMI 2, you're not going to get 10 bit unless you drop the frames per second to 30 if you want 4x4x4. But 4x2x0, yes, you can get. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the color bit depth to 10 for the HDMI monitor. I know it's going to drop to 30. Right, so it is not allowing me until I drop the frame rate to 30. So let me just drop it to 30 hertz. Right, so now it is at 30. Now I can get the 10 bit color depth. Now what about the other monitor? So there's my other monitor and you can see that it's at 30 with 8 bit de color depth. So now let's see if we can get to 60. But what's going to happen to the HDMI connected monitor? 
is it going to drop any of those specifications? So this is the display port running now at 60 hertz, 4K, and the HDMI 10 bit 30 hertz. There's no problem there. There's no scope to increase the frame rate. But as I said, that is more limitation on the protocol rather than the dock. Now let's see if we can get 10 bit on the DisplayPort monitor while the HDMI is also on 10 bit. All right, so let's see what's happened now. So the HDMI display is still at the same specification, 4K 10 bit, but let's have a look at the DisplayPort. There we go. It's running at maximum 10 bit, 60 hertz. So in this case, you can have two 4K monitors, both of them running at 10 bit, but one of them only at 30 hertz because it's connected as HDMI. But even if the dock had a faster protocol, it still wouldn't support it because as I've already demonstrated with both display ports, you still can't get, you can't get that maximum spec on both monitors. Right, so in closing, what happens if you connect three 4K monitors to the dock? 4K, 4K, 4K. So there you can see the three monitors are on, but immediately you can see that my resolution is unavailable. So if I go to my first monitor, there is my LG 4K. If you want to make the 60, it's unavailable. If you go to the second LG, there you can see 4K 10 bit. There's no option here for six. And then there's the other 4K monitor capped at 2560 by 1440. And if I try and increase the refresh rate by dropping the color bit depth, I can now get the full resolution on that third 4K monitor. So in this case, the LG 4K 30 hertz, 8 bit. Second LG 4K 30 hertz, 8 bit, no scope for increasing frequency. The Dell 4K 60 hertz. Uh, 8 bit. What you could do is get 60 hertz on another monitor and then 30 and 30 on the others. Basically, it just shares the bandwidth. So, to answer the question, can you have two monitors 4K 60 hertz? Yes, but not with the high bit depth, but not with 10 bit. Can you have more than two 4K monitors? Yes, but then the refresh rate must drop. Two will be at 30 hertz and the color bit depth will be eight for all of them. All right, thanks for watching and cheers.